Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have some new Pat McGrath products to review for you guys. I'm talking about the brand new Golden Opulence eyeshadow palette, as well as her two new lip gloss trios that came out. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on these products, then just keep watching. new to my channel. Hi, my name is Morgan. I am a Pat McGrath collector. I will pick up basically anything that she comes out with whether or not I need it because I collect her stuff. I think she has some of the most luxurious products with great quality that are very unique to the makeup industry. This release kind of came out of nowhere. I feel like she had just released the Star Wars collection and then she had the holiday collection before that and it's just, it was, this palette's a very random release if you ask me but of course I picked it up anyways. I wasn't going to but then I was like who am I kidding? Of course I'm gonna pick it up. So this is like her Lunar New Year collection and it seems like a lot of brands are coming out with some sort of Lunar New Year collection. I don't know if that's always been the case but all of a sudden all these brands are coming out with like red and gold themed <laughs> things, which I think is really fun. Um, if you don't know, I'm actually half Chinese. My mom is from Singapore. I mean, I don't celebrate Lunar New Year, but fun fact, it was always something I was very interested in as a kid. In this little mini collection, she came out with the Golden Opulence eyeshadow palette, and then of course those two lip gloss trios. We're of course going to spend the majority of this video covering the eyeshadow palette, so let's get into it. So this palette is currently available on the Pat McGrath website. Pat McGrath has been a mess lately as far as getting orders, shipping orders, having things in stock, not having things in stock. I talk about it in my next Pat McGrath video that I will be uploading which will be my Decadence eyeshadow tutorial where I kind of explain my frustration and annoyances with the brand but yeah. I didn't have any problems getting this one. I feel like shipping took a little bit longer than it normally does for me, but her shipping's been a hot mess. Customer service has been a hot mess, but this is still available. It does also look like it will be available on Sephora soon as well. You can pull it up on the website and it says coming soon. So online, it is a palette of six sublime shimmers and magnificent mattes that summon the joyous spirit of Lunar New Year, evoking moods of prosperous luxury and opulent celebration. It is six $65 and it says it is limited edition so I'm going to go by the Sephora website and that this is limited edition. So let's talk about the packaging of this guy. It is one of her six pan palettes that comes in this similar packaging. However, I've never seen the outside done like this before. Normally there's some type of picture. This is actually just more about the actual finish of the product and I don't know if you can see but it has some really pretty gold glitter. I really like that. Uh, you guys know I love glitter. I like that part. I think it's really cute. I do kind of like her art. It's very, very unique when she does that. But I think this is a really nice kind of different thing to add to her line. It has this, which I just always leave undone. And then you open it up. You have a mirror and then your six shades. Now, I actually hate this packaging. With her Star Wars collection, she came out with kind of just like a single thing where you can open. This is a pain in the butt because it's very hard to work with because this mirror keeps falling on it and you can't like really bend it straight. I don't know. I just feel like that's very poorly designed. It's super annoying. That honestly is quite a big turnoff for me as far as this palette goes. So I don't like that as far as the packaging, but of course it feels very sturdy, very luxurious, but this is very inconvenient. And if you're trying to get ready, if you're not holding it like this, it's just super annoying. So let's take a closer look into the palette. As you can see, you have six shades. The finishes in here are two mattes, three metallics, and then one metallic that has a little bit of extra glitter sprinkled in. There is no Blitz Astro formula in here, but it has her really lovely metallic formula, which is one of the best of the best, if you ask me. As far as the color story goes here, uh, it actually is quite neutral, quite wearable, if you ask me. Leaning a little bit more warm. As you can see, I do have a very warm eye from this palette, but looking at it, honestly, it is a very wearable palette. It's one of her more wearable palettes if you like looks that lean more warm neutral if you just break it up like right here, do you see how like this is just like a normal warm brown kind of eye right here? And then these are the fun pops that are like the Lunar New Year. But then of course she always organizes her palettes in such a way where you can cover it and it's so much more less intimidating. If you are a neutral wearer, 
here you are you got it she always has I feel like this token kind of golden shade right here if you ask me Pat McGrath has one of the best like gold formulas all of her gold eyeshadow formulas are incredible so that's what that looks like super stunning the only reason I don't complain about her having a gold in like every single one of her palettes is because her golds are good she does it right so I'm not going to complain none of the shades in here seem to be repeats however you can tell just by looking at it these aren't exactly unique shades you can probably get pretty similar dupes within her own line I'm going to refer you to kinky sweat video here on YouTube where she does a lot of different comparisons with different palettes she was lucky enough to get this palette early so check her out she does the best color comparisons I don't so I just try to leave it to the masters just by looking this palette most definitely is not the most unique. When I opened it up, I actually thought it looked like the most recent Divine Rose that came out. I feel like this palette looks different under different lightings. When I opened it in my kitchen, it looked very rosy taupey to me. And then when I brought it up here, it looked more brown. And then I was wearing it and now I feel like it looks more red and warm. So I don't know. Oddly enough, this just looks different in different lighting. So I did want to show you really quickly the Divine Rose palette that came out and is supposed to be restocking soon. Don't know if it actually will be. She's a hot mess as far as the brand goes. Uh, but yeah, the Golden Opulence, those first four shades definitely reminded me of Divine Rose, uh, specifically like this color right here and then you have the brown. But just watching them by side by side last night, I noticed that there were some shades, yeah, they were similar, but there are definitely tone differences. And I know a lot of you aren't going to care about that. Yeah, you can probably get a very similar look with the Divine Rose and the Golden Opulence. But you know, me being a makeup lover, those little differences are actually what makes me happy. But I know for a lot of people, probably not. But anyways, this still has a couple of other colors that Divine Rose does not have to offer. I mean, basically what I'm trying to say about the color story, kind of underwhelmed by it. Uh, it's nothing crazy unique, but if you don't have a lot of eyeshadows and you just want a luxury product from Pat McGrath, it's a beautiful color story. It's just nothing special. And I will even admit, normally when I get a Pat McGrath palette, even if I'm not sure about the photos online, as soon as I open up in person, I'm like, oh my god, yes, this is gorgeous. I didn't really get that feeling with this one when I opened it. I was just like, it's pretty, nothing new. Whereas like with the Star Wars palettes that she came out with, I wasn't too crazy about them online. I opened it up and you guys know I'm like head over heels for that collection. Don't really feel this way about them this color story here. So as far as the texture of these finishes go, so the mattes are very, very nice. They're her typical matte formula. I find them to blend very easily, not patchy, not too hard to work with. Tap off your brush and you'll be good. And they do pack on a lot of color. I am absolutely in love with this shade right here, Tran Tranquility. I think it's a very gorgeous transition shade to lay down every look. It complements every single color up in this palette and then we have prosperity which is kind of like a swiss kind of brown like a almost reddish burgundy brown really pretty nothing too crazy unique but again it, this palette all together all of the colors are very complementary of each other so that is something to be said about the curation of this the colors just go extremely well together you have this eternal opulence shade right here where it's kind of just like a light pinky champagne kind of color it's very not unique unique you know you have this color in a lot of different palettes but it's nice to have a color like this in a palette because it really makes it so easy to complete a look like I have it as my inner corner highlight right now it's nice to have it's just not unique this shade right here is my favorite this is moon phase and this one pulls almost bronzy rose and in some lights it looks much more warm some lights it looks more rose some lights it looks more taupe it's a very interesting color that I really 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 do enjoy it is very pretty and then we have lotus luxe which this one is an interesting color it's that metallic but it has like gold shimmers almost like a little bit of a purple shift to it some red 
very very pretty that's what the majority of my lid color is just expect some glitters in that and then you have gold fortune which again is that beautiful gold shade what i did notice about the consistency of the metallics in this palette is i feel like they're a little bit more dry than normal as far as application goes especially with this color i did struggle a little bit to get it to stick to the lid which normally isn't a problem that i have with my pat mcgrath colors i don't know it, it, the formula just seemed a little bit more dry to me than normal it's nothing horrible if you use your finger it will adhere a lot better or I would definitely recommend you use these metallics wet because they definitely I feel like will stand out being wet and be more unique because just all over my eyes the colors aren't really that super special I'm trying to word things carefully but like I'm just being honest I'm not I wasn't too impressed with how they looked on my eyelid. It's not a bad thing. They still were very pretty and the quality was still good, but just for Pat McGrath, I just noticed some things that I had personally not noticed before. And you know, I have to be honest, even if it's my girl Pat. But yeah, all of the shades, definitely, they applied very nice. Something was a little bit off compared to how I normally feel. Let's move on to how I got this look and that way I can get more into my experience with you. So I started off with Tranquility right here and I applied that as my transition shade. Applied beautifully, it's a beautiful tone, very complimentary of the other colors, super easy, really enjoyed that color. Then I went in with Prosperity. Again, really enjoyed this color right here. I feel like it was very easy to work with, very buttery, blended out really easy, and it was buildable, so you can have more of a light look if you want, or you can really build it up to get more depth into the eye. The next shade that I went into was Lotus Luxe, and it's, it's very pretty, and I thought it packed on decent, but again, I felt like there was a lot of fallout with that shade. It wasn't quite sticking to the eye like I had hoped. I used MAC Painterly Paint pot as my base and I just feel like to get the full impact with this shade you would need to use it wet it is very pretty using a finger was nice I feel like it could have been better I don't know and then we have moon phase right here this one I think is my favorite shade in the palette I find it to be the most unique even if it really isn't that unique very gorgeous I applied that to the inner part of my eyelid it's a very simple shade but I think this is a shade that's so easy for every day so if you get this palette and you want to wear it to work or just for your everyday life you're going to grow to love that shade it is absolutely stunning like that in the browns mm, gorgeous then i applied the shade eternal opulence to the inner corner very stunning very nice addition to the palette it's just one of those colors where you don't immediately go in to swatch it because it's so beautiful but you use it in every single look that you do with this palette and then on my lower lash line i took some more of lotus luxe right here and i just spread that all along here to keep the look pretty consistent and monochromatic yeah overall as far as this palette goes it's not my favorite from her line if you have a lot of pat mcgrath palettes and you're on the edge about this one i really wouldn't run to go and grab it i don't think it's the greatest just coming off the high from those star wars palettes that she came out with like this is so boring compared to those i love those Star Wars ones. This one is just an average palette for me. Now that being said, if you really do enjoy the color story, kind of the more wearable looks that you can get with this palette, I do think that this is a nice palette. It's not bad at all. I love Pat McGrath's formula. She does such a good job with her formulas and I do not regret picking this up, but it's okay for me. So really quickly, I'm not gonna talk too long about these, but I, but I did want you to know that these are available. She released two lip gloss trios. I think that these are the best way to try out her lip glosses just because you spend less you get more colors so these are $25 each which I think is a great deal for Pat McGrath lip glosses and they're little mini lip glosses so the first one that we have here is the red opulence one now red opulence comes with carnal desire which is the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now I have just a lip liner underneath and then this gloss prettiness right here celestial ruby and blood too so each of these come with one glitter gloss, one metallic gloss, and then one more of the flat finish kind of glosses. So red opulence, you have a red shade, metallic red, and a glittery red. And then the other one that we have here is a bronze opulence. Honestly, this doesn't look very bronze to me, but you have 
Pale Fire, Nectar, Lunar Bronze, and Flesh 6. Each of the trios include two best-selling shades from the line, but I don't know. I feel like these don't get enough attention. These are really great. They're very great deals, and she has a wonderful gloss formula. Extremely shiny, extremely high pigment when they need to be or when they don't need to be. Super moisturizing, not sticky, very lightweight, just a really good overall gloss formula. So even if the palette doesn't interest you, don't sleep on these gloss trios. They are really nice and they're really pretty colors. People don't appreciate like a red glossy lip enough. You can get some reds in here and that's really nice. So anyways, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. Did you guys pick this palette up? Did you have the same experience as me? Like I said, I feel bad for saying that about the palette. I do like it. It's just... It's not my favorite. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Have a good one.